Hello YouTube, this is Sick Divine Curry by One or Ultima Umbreon, whichever one you want to call me right now. And I have a Pokemon Showdown battle. And it's a Dragonite sweep, so yeah, I started off with Polychode, he has Skarmory. And I'm just like, eh, nothing to do here. So it's a Dragonite, Dragon Dance. And then he Stealth Rock, so I'm just like, no, 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 one more Dragon Dance won't hurt anybody. Then he Brave Birds, it does nothing. And then, I'm and then he withdraws his Skarmory when I'm like, Fire Punch! And it does a ton of damage to his Gastrodon. And then he gets left over, I'm just like, Outrage. So yeah, and then he switches to Ursa Ring, Outrage kills it. Now I get confused. So, I just go for the Roost to have full health. He roost thing, I was gonna fire punch. I get hit by confusion, then brave bird. So I'm about to die, I'm just like... Oh, he withdraws to aggron. And I was just fire punching, and I snapped out confusion. So now I'm just like, roost, because I don't want to die. And then, he uses heavy slam. He uses it again. I roost. So pretty much now I'm just roost stalling, because heavy slam will kill me if I don't. So this part of the battle is pretty repetitive. And I just randomly dragon dance, knowing I, I could live a hit with 2%. So then I roost again, and I'm almost dead again, and then I roost again. And I'm almost dead again. And I roost again. Almost dead. He withdraws his aggro and goes to Skarmory, so I just got a free roost. And I just kill him with Fire Punch. Now he has his Alkazam out. Outreach, critical hit, one hit kill. Now all he has left is Aggron and Tyranitar. Outreach kills it. Oh, and by the way, this is a Gen 5 battle because I was taking a break from all of my Gen 6 teams because so I wanted to see how this would work. So yeah, I just roost so I could live a hit. He has Thunder Punch. Doesn't do anything. I use one more roost. I'm at full health. I use a stone edge. It doesn't do that much. My confusion ends. Outrage. And I just finish him. Well, since that battle was so short, I'll add one more battle. Right here. E wow, his name is Rainbow Corn Beef. I'm just going to start off with my cloister. And I don't want to risk getting killed, so I'm just going to switch to my Venusaur. Oh, he switches to Heliolisk, so I guess neither of us want to. Oh, I see what he's doing. Hmm, don't know. I'm just going to switch to my Shedinja. He uses Hidden Power, and of course it was super effective, and... And Sandstorm kills me. I'm gonna switch to my Star Raptor. And I'm just gonna go for a close combat. Because I can't really think of anything else to do right here. Now we just have to wait for him to pick a move. <coughs> oh, Critical Thunderball. Why did I have to die? Now switching to Lizard the Haxorus. And he paralyzes. Man, I can't move. Okay. I see how it is. Thanks a lot. Hope you're happy. The damage is done. And I go for an earthquake. Cause, well, and it was pretty obvious he wasn't going to stay in. And now I'm pretty much dead. So, no point in switching out. Just gonna let him die. I'm gonna use my Venusaur. I'm just gonna use Giga Drain. And he switches. Okay. To his Arcanine. I'm just gonna use Sludge Bomb. Flare Blitz it doesn't even really do much. Because my Venusaur is too good. Citrus Berry, okay, okay, sir. 
he switches to a Sylveon. I don't know why, because it was obvious I was going to Sludge Bomb, so. It did super effective damage, but he didn't even bring him to below half, so. That was hard, you brew. Sludge Bomb again, oh my gosh, 2%. Okay, I poisoned him. And he had a Citrus Berry. And. Just to get some health back, I'm just gonna go for a Giga Drain and try. Hopefully, make sure. Yeah, Sylveon dies. This I'm probably gonna lose this battle because I didn't not stand a chance. Oh, uh, he put his Skarmory to sleep, so that works. Now I'm just gonna Leech Seed, so I'll get some health back here. Giga Drain, because I can't really, oh, I took that hit, I mean, I barely survived, so, I need Giga Drain just to get some health, Brave Bird, and I live, barely though, Leech Seed, and then I'm just gonna put Skarmory back to sleep so I can live an extra turn. This is actually the first time I've used Mega Venusaur for like real, so yeah, I just wanted to try that. Oh, he switches into his Arcanine. I guess he want that little fella to live. I'm just gonna go for a Sludge Bomb because there's not much I can do. Oh, Flare Blitz. I live to Flare Blitz with 5% and kill his Arcanine with Sludge Bomb. Thank you, Venusaur. I did not expect you to live that, but it's pretty bulky. I don't know what to do here against Heliolus because I'm obviously dead. So I'm just going to go for a Giga Drain. Yeah, so he just kills me. Hmm. Gonna switch to Cloyster, but then I'm just gonna so use Espeon. And I did not take that Thunderbolt at all. And my Espeon's name is Xenon because I like infected Xenon's Espeon, so I named it after him. And he lives the sidekick barely, but now he's gonna take me out. And now all I have left is Cloyster. And this is a skill in Cloyster, just so. And he kills me in one hit. GG, Rainbow Corn Beef. Okay. I'm gonna try to fit in one more battle, but I'm gonna change my team. Even though this the team I'm gonna use for this is... Party brew. I'm just gonna start off with my Scolipede so I could get some Swords Dance Speed Boost and then Baton Pass into. Uh, I don't know who I'm gonna switch into. So, Swords Dance really quick. So, he Stealth Rocks. I'm just gonna go for an earthquake and see how much damage I can do. Not that much. Okay, so he sets up his spikes, one layer of them, and his stealth rock. I go for, oh, he goes for a power whip and it does nothing. So now I'm just going to try to finish this guy off with one Earthquake. And I kill him. So now I have plus three speed. So now I'm just waiting for him to make a move.
and he's not doing anything. Oh, he switches into his Gudra. So I'm gonna baton pass now. Probably into my Kingdra. Or my Salamence. Cause, yeah, Salamence because he's physical. And now I have my Salamence and he uses Fire Blast. So, I'm just going to go for a Dragon Claw. And I, because of the plus two attack, I just kill him in one hit. And I get my Moxie boost. And this is a life orb towel man, so he's pretty he's a pretty tough little guy. He switches into his glyce score. And since I'm gonna outspeed, I'm gonna kill it with one dragon claw. And I get my my next moxie boost. Now he uses his chestnut, so I obviously outspeed. I mean, he might go for a spiky heel just to damage me. Yeah, spiky heel. So I get hurt by that. And I'm almost dead, so I'm pretty nervous. Oh, he uses protect. What is this? You think this is a children's game? No, this is competitive, sir. So just in case he tries to spiky shield protect stall me, which is what he did, I just go for roost. Because that was obvious, man. Now I'm just going to earthquake. Aw, oh, I thought he was going to use protect or something. Then watch, now, now I'm going to use dragon claw and it's going to be spiky shield. Aw, oh, come on, bro. I'm just going to switch out into my haunch girl. Because this guy's annoying me. Brave bird. He's a, but he's going to... Wait, what? My haunch girl's ability is super luck? Oh. Oh. He switches into a Sableye. Okay. Don't know what that was about. But now his Sableye's almost dead. So just in case he switches out for some reason, I'm just going to go for Pursuit. Protect. Protect. This guy is getting on my nerves. And I kill his Sableye. I knew he was going to go for spiky shield, so I just go for a roost. He's going to go for protect, but I'm going for brave bird anyways. Oh, I'm going to have to cut this short, so I'll make a part two.